Hey everyone, Andrew from Novice. Today, I'm going to show you why you need the Elite 4-digit lock from Console Vault and how to install it. This new lock design is exclusive to Console Vault and it's the most secure 4-digit mechanical lock in the industry and that's based on their own comprehensive destruction testing. Now side-by-side -side comparison, you can already tell it's a much better looking lock. It looks sturdier. It actually takes up less space than this whole unit with the finger pull. And there's no need for a finger pull with this one because it has this kind of raised edge that gives you a little bit of a lip and just more to grab onto. And it makes it much easier to open your safe. Now the tumblers aren't just easier to see, they're actually easier to use. They're a little bit bigger and these older ones, they just don't turn as easily. But I'm going to show you how to install the Elite 4D lock and it's only going to take a couple minutes with a 7-8 socket and a Phillips head screwdriver. First thing we're going to need to do is open up your console vault and you'll see this Phillips head screw. You're going to start by taking that out. Then you're going to need your 7-8 socket. And then once you get it loose, you can just take it off by hand. And now you're ready to install your new lock. Another feature here is this L and R on the back side of your lock, and it just determines if you want to turn it to the left or to the right to unlock your in-vehicle safe. But this is also a helpful guide so that you know this goes towards the passenger side of the vehicle when you install your lock. So it's going to be just like so. And then when you insert the lock, everything is facing the right direction. First thing you're going to install is your spring washer. And then you're going to put on the collar nut, get it snug. Then you want to get your socket and you're going to want to tighten it down. No more than 80 foot pounds of pressure. Next you're going to place the cam through the slot and make sure that it lines up. You see there's a square hole and then there's the square part of the lock. It fits perfectly over top of that. Then you're going to hold that in place while you start your screw and then you're going to snug that up and I would use a number three Phillips head on this you can use a number two but you might strip it out now this button here on your driver's side you have to depress with the combination in to be able to open the vault on the opposite side of that you have the pin to reset your combination so all we're going to do is depress that button with the current combination in, which from console vault, your locks will always come with a combination of all zeros. And for the sake of the video, we'll just change it to one, two, three, four. Then we'll just release the pin. And you're gonna wanna make sure you do this without your vault closed, obviously. And you're gonna wanna double check it multiple times to make sure it works. So that you don't end up with a locked vault that you can't get into. Just like that, we have our new lock on our in-vehicle safe. And don't be alarmed, this is an additional security feature. The lock just free spins, unless you depress this button with the combination in. And you won't have any clearance issues with this lock on any console ball in-vehicle safe that offers the standard four-digit combination lock. So if you're just replacing your old one, it'll fit perfectly. All right, well, that's all there is to installing the Elite 4-digit lock from Console Vault. I hope this video helped to simplify the install for you. And if you're a new or existing Console Vault customer, you need this lock. So don't waste any more time. Go out and get yours today because this five-minute job is going to put that much more security between your valuables and the outside world.